Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be checking out the Final Fantasy VII Remake gameplay premiere presentation. Um, I've been a little bit sick, so I haven't really been reacting to many things lately, so please forgive me. Um, I'll try to edit out my coughing fits as I go. This is pretty long, so I'll try to rein it in. But in regards to this PlayStation 7 game, I'm hearing amazing things so far. People have played it, they've loved it, they're crazy about the graphics, the gameplay. Same, same, but different. They're mixing it up a little bit. And what I'm hearing is they're dividing the story into parts as well. So the whole gameplay featuring the city part. It's been a long time since I've played it. You don't actually get out into, you don't actually get out into the world until you finish that part. But that's going to be the central focus of this game. And then part two will expand from that when the our heroes escape. So I'm, I'm really curious and excited about that. I mean, it's a lot of work. Um, my PlayStation can only hold so much content. Yeah, so filling it up with Final Fantasy games could be fraught with peril. Who knows? But... I'm excited to hear such amazing stuff being said about this game so far. So, let's check out the presentation. Fall in love with Final Fantasy VII all over again. Alright, 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> oh, it would have been so cool to be there. Oh, that sound effect. Just the, the picking of the menu. A little squeaky chime. Flashbacks right away. There she is. Man, she looks beautiful. Aerith? Wow. You heartbreak, are you? Here comes Team Cloud. Wow, man. How good does it look? Advent Children is a great Final Fantasy film too. You should check it out. Now oh, the music. Woo! Straight away. <laughs> Straight from the first game. A little bit more orchestrated though. Please welcome Yoshinori Kitase, producer, Final Fantasy VII Remake. Mm. Love these presentations. The closest I've got to being there, man. Oh. I'm very happy to be able to introduce oh, this long beloved title once again. After 22 years, the familiar characters we love have returned while becoming more beautiful and captivating than ever before. I was worried about subtitles there for a minute. <laughs> but this is going to be a waste of time. <laughs> to our long-time fans, we thank you for your support and patience over these years. And we look forward to embarking on this journey together. え、ファイナルファンタジー Remaking Final Fantasy VII has allowed us to dive much deeper into the world and its characters than ever before. The game design was optimized for this title as well, and we anticipate two Blu-ray discs worth of gameplay content. <laughs> for the first part. The first game in this project expands on the story of Midgar and is such an elaborate retelling that it has become a solid standalone game in its own right. え、これからご紹介する映像および 
Through the content we are about to unveil today, and through all that we have yet to unveil, we will not disappoint your expectations. <laughs> your yeah, you won't. With the Final Fantasy VII you know is near. To newcomers who never played the original, uh, we present to you a completely new Final Fantasy and a perfect starting point to explore the world of Final Fantasy VII. Get in Please on that first game, guys. Neil Pabone, Senior Manager, Product Marketing, Square Seems to have had a bit of a resurgence lately. I know a few YouTubers are playing the original Final Fantasy VII, streaming it. It's fun. It looks so dated though, but it's still gorgeous. So, Neil is here to introduce you and walk you through gameplay. Thank you, Katashi-san. All right, everyone. Let's mosey. That's why we're here. Final Fantasy VII Remake features a hybrid gameplay system that merges real-time action with strategic command-based combat. For cool. starters, each press of the square button is a swing of Cloud's Buster Sword. Cloud attacks, dodges, and blocks all in real time. His standard attacks do some damage, but they barely scratch the surface of Cloud's true potential. Succeeding on the battlefield requires much more than just hacking and slashing. Cloud needs to be tactical. He needs A, T, B. Two yes. ATB bars are displayed in the lower right. These fill up slowly over time, but fill much faster as Cloud lands standard attacks. Cool. Once an ATB bar is full, you can enter tactical mode, where time slows to a crawl, and you have the opportunity to choose actions from the com command menu. Okay. Just like the old I had game. the pleasure of seeing quite a bit of the game, but tactical mode never gets old for me. I could just sit no. here all day long and watch this beautiful slow motion action. I think the audience would like to see more. Isn't that right, everyone? Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Good point, good point. <laughs> yeah. Well, once in tactical mode, you can choose to perform various abilities, such as Cloud's Braver attack. <laughs> Using an item in battle will deplete an ATV charge, and if Cloud has the right materia equipped, and enough MP, Materia. he can use ATV charges to cast spells. Of course, this being a remake, we're sure to see some familiar faces. Barrett. With the use of his iconic gun arm, Barrett is able to target enemies at a distance. Barrett's standard attacks generate ATV charges similar to Cloud, but his abilities are entirely different. Hmm. Switching between characters in combat is done with a single button press, which makes rotating through party members a snap. Speaking of other party members, Katasi nice. san when are we going to see Tifa in action? Yeah, where's Tifa? Uh, I want to say the summons, though. Soon. The summons soon. are incredible. All right. Characters will continue to fight even when you're not controlling them directly, but it's up to you to choose how and when ATV charges are used. You can maximize your effectiveness by switching between characters or issuing commands to characters with full ATV bars. Every enemy has a focus gauge that fills up as you do damage. When the gauge is full, the enemy becomes staggered and you'll deal bonus damage. Tactical mode evokes the command selections from the original Final Fantasy VII and allows players to enjoy battle while taking the time to think strategically. Yeah. For players who prefer fast-paced action, abilities and spells can be bound to shortcuts for immediate execution. Oh, that's good too. Shortcuts make combat extremely dynamic, but the choice of using them is entirely up to you. Right, Katase-san? The visuals look so striking. That's I mean, it's right. Beautiful. The game has been made so that you can choose how to play. I hope players get excited about this. Well, that's a brief introduction to combat in Final Fantasy VII Remake, and we look forward to showing you a whole lot more in the coming months. For now, let's see how Cloud and Barrett do against a more formidable foe. Yeah, I've seen some of this one already. A big scorpion boss, right? It was freaking hard in the game. I suck at boss battles, man. That looks so cinematic. This sucker looks tough. Die, start again, die, start again, die, start again. <laughs> Shit, 
God damn. Fucking Barrett's voice as well is very cool. It's on you. Oh, he crawls on the walls. That's new. Oh shit. Yeah. Lightning's the weakness. Wow. And this is only going to be like uh, at the beginning of the game as well, right? Because they're breaking in at the start of the game, taking on this mofo. There's so much story, there's so much story to this game. So many battles, so much customization, so many upgrades, so much magic to learn, the summons. Getting the summon creatures, oh my god. I wonder what kind of um, benefit us old timers who have played this game many times are going to have coming into this. <clears throat> That's right, I called myself an old timer. I don't know when that happened. Damn, this is sick. Oh my god. Shit, nukes! <laughs> oh, God, this is going to be so intense. But I'm taking notes, so I know how to beat it. I can duck and hide, that's cool. ATP gauge, the ATB gauge is still going. Suck on it! And the music is on point as well. We've got the original score in there. And this is an epic battle. This feels like it's been going for half an hour at least. Not counting the times that you would die and need to start again. Or me, anyway. Wow. Oh, what I love about taking on these big bosses is that the skill points and the experience points you get really level you up. Man, it looks, it looks sensational. Yeah, the, the crowd screaming in the background is cool. God, oh, it's so good to see life. Does not look easy to beat. Oh shit. God. It's like watching a CGI film. You did, suck up. Wow. You hear that? Damn thing showed you how it's done. Come on, you got me. And then you level up with something crazy. Oh my throat. Please welcome Tetsuya Nomura, director, Final Fantasy VII. Sorry guys. That was sick. Thank you for joining us, Namura-san. It is an absolute honor to have you here. 
Katasi-san, how do you feel working with Nomura-san once again on Final Fantasy VII Remake? はい、あの彼とはです、ね、原作の FF7 以降、まあ、何作も、ね、一緒に、ね、あのその後も仕事はしてるんですけども、まあ、今作のように、ね、再び、ね、あのディレクションキャラクターデザイナーそして、ね、ストーリーと、ね、がっつり組むのはまた久しぶりなので、ね、あの22年前と全く変わらない熱量で、ね、今作でも取り組んでいる姿を見て、ね、私も正直、ね、喜んでいます。Since the original Final Fantasy VII, I've worked with him on many titles, but it has been a while since we've actually had him work so heavily on a project like this, from the direction to character design to the story. And I'm really happy to see him working on this title with the same passion that he had 22 years ago. 22 years, man. Nomura san, comment, do you have a comment? Yes. I've been working for a long time, but I've always been working for a long time. And these guys are brilliant. They're just brilliant. Thank you very much. And then, everyone, today, I've been watching the TV screen a long time ago, but I think it's a little different from what I thought it was. I love the visual shots. So first and foremost, we wanted to extend our gratitude to those who have been waiting so patiently and have been supporting us for such a long time until now. And also, Um, we've taken a look at gameplay right now, and we barely showed you、um, a good bit. So, we have to say that we have to say that we have to say that we have to say that. ね、you get a free copy. You get a free copy. Advanced release. Seven remake. Playable. Shooting. Stay. Mas. No. De. Zehi. Kikai. No. Arukata. Wa. Frete. Mite. Kudasai. So we actually have playable demo kiosks available at the Square Enix E3 booth. Get out of here. I hope you have the opportunity to try it out. No, I'm not there. Hi. That sucks. <laughs> それではですね、最後に皆さんにご覧いただきたいものがありますのでぜひ、昨日はですね、コンサートの方でショート版のトレーラーを公開しましたけども、今日はあのロング版をご用意してますのでぜひご覧ください。So finally, there is something that we wanted to show you.、Um, yesterday, we showed you a short version of a trailer at the Final Fantasy VII concert. But today, today we have a longer version. I don't think I've seen this. Bring it on. All right, please take a look. Please. Oh, I, I fell in love with her, man. You know, the original game. My first game crush. Her and, and her and um, Cloud's story was really beautiful and heartbreaking. No spoilers. Damn, it looks so good. Wow. These sewer rats appear to call themselves Avalanche, sir. Avalanche. So many memories. It's been years since I've played it. Y'all gotta look at the bigger picture here. Nothing worth fighting for was ever won without sacrifice. Help me! No, I haven't seen this one before. Oh, the magic is gonna be so beautiful to see. Oh, sick. Too far. Oh, the music. Oh, that's got me so hard. Have you been a good girl? I heard you're having second thoughts. I know we have to think big if we're going to make a difference. But not like this. I just.、Wow. 
feel trapped. So beautiful. I'm actually getting chills, man. Far out. My turn. Wow. <laughs> I win this game so badly. Get going. Oh, so epic. I'm just thinking about how much potential this series has in like a chapter format. I mean, where this game's gonna go, if you've never played before, the other cities. Seraphoth? So I can't say his name. Sephiroth. You have to leave. You have to leave. Oh boy, you wait. <laughs> Teaser. Sephiroth. I think. It's been a long time. Ah, oh, man. Got a march. PlayStation 4. Pre order now. Ah, oh, look at that. Steelbook. Oh, wow. Oh, don't you? It's gonna end. Oh, look. Yeah, the statue looks amazing. That's first class. Kai Cloud Strife and Hardy Daytona. That would be. Apparently, it's really big too. Man, that was insane. I'm so happy this is this is coming. Um, PlayStation Four though. With the talk lately of the PlayStation Five, which is apparently on the horizon, you'd think maybe it's gonna surprisingly be a, a launch release. With that, maybe. I suppose we don't really know too much about what's happening with the the PS5, but holy goddamn, can you imagine? Are you excited for this? Um, I know I have a lot of fans of Final Fantasy checking out my videos who have played the later games. Um, Final Fantasy XIV Online, pretty popular right now, and I do get a lot of flack from people who've seen me react to some of those trailers saying, you know, do you even play Final Fantasy? Do you even know? Man, you got no clue. This was one of my big introductory level games back in the day with the PlayStation 1 22 odd years ago so anyone younger than 22 is giving me shit <laughs> bite me honestly if you've not played Final Fantasy 7 you don't have a leg to stand on with your accusations I mean shit that's where it started man that was the jam they're remaking it for a reason because it was freaking sensational and one of the best games ever made and I've been in love with it ever since. So, I've been loving Final Fantasy for over 20 years. Can you say that? I'm fine now. Just had to get that rant out. But, um, that looks so, so good. And breaking the game down into parts. Uh, I hope it's successful. And I hope that the next one is just as epic as this one looks. I mean, the world really does open up quite a bit once you leave Midgar. So, that'll be very cool to see what they do. Anyway... Hope you like my reaction to Final Fantasy VII, the remake presentation trailer. I look so good. Catch you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.